Hi there, well today I am unboxing my Sony Action Cam FDR-X3000. I got this one from an online store and I will put the link to that store below. But let's see how they've packaged it. Keep in mind I also got two spare batteries um, simply because you can never have too many spare batteries. You can see that they've packaged it up very well. well it's better than it being damaged, I guess. And the main advantage from what I see, reading reviews and, and the rest is the image stabilization. So let's have a look. Here we've got the, I don't know how well you can see that, but it's the FDR X3000. And R stands for the remote, the remote bundle kit. So, hoping this will also work seamless with my other two Sony's, which are the AS100 and the FDR X1000. Now I'm trying to work out. We actually open this. Ah, oh, it's like that. Now, to be honest, I'm not sure if I'm actually going to do much of a review of the camera per se, because you can find more than enough online at the moment. And you've got all these manuals and warranties. So this is probably the one I should read a bit later. The startup guide. And I'm just going through the, the manuals in the probably the other languages if I'm correct. And that's the startup guide for the actual remote. So let's see what's actually bundled in here. Something about registering, registration card. Looks like an attachment of some sort for the remote. Another wrist strap attachment for the remote. The buckle clip. Another stand, another, another mount. Ah, oh, funny enough, this is the same battery that my other cams use, and that's the NP, I don't know how well you can see that, but it's the NP BX1. Micro USB cable.
Hopefully I can get this out of the, the packaging. So there's the actual remote, and there's the actual camera. It should be relatively easy to open. They've probably made this child proof. So bear with me. And that's the action cam itself. Now let's see. And the difference of the some of the other Sony's where the all of these ports are actually on the bottom. They've actually put them on the back this time. And it, it is actually a lot better because with previous cams, and I'll, I'll show you this in another video, that on the bottom, you can't actually get to, if you've got the cam in a case, you can't get to the bottom. You can't get to the ports, sorry, that are from the bottom. Whereas this way, you can actually drill a hole, which is still not ideal, but drill a hole in the back here. And I'm going to see whether this has actually got... So the, the ports here we have are the micro USB and the HDMI. So you've got the HDMI on top, you've got the USB connector there, and you've got your mic jack. On the bottom is where your memory card goes in. And I believe we have there where the battery goes in. So it should be as simple as sliding this in. Helps if it's the right way. So the battery goes there. And let's press the power button. Ah, it wants me to set up the time and all of that. So I will just quickly scroll through all of this. It's basically saying what is the date and time. And I'm going to power this on. Here we go, straight out of the box. Hold down the button, nothing. Ah, that's because that's not the power button. You can see the menu and power button on the side there. Same thing, it's asking me to set the dates and time I'll just press OK for now. And let's see while this syncs up. And you can see, pretty much syncs up straight away. It is telling me there's low battery on the display. I think that's no, sorry, that flashing is actually showing it's no memory card.
And thank you for watching my short video. I will have some more showing the the different modes and settings as examples in the near future.